guys i'm back today with another video and this one is going to be brought to you by the company yes girl once again now before i get started on all the details please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already and if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos you guys enjoyed the last vibe wave that i showcased from the company very affordable and super cute that was a kinky straight wig if you haven't seen that video i'm gonna make sure to leave a link above the screen somewhere and also in the description area but today i am here to showcase a yakky bob this is one of their best sellers on the website so i'm just going to go ahead and take this off this is what the bag looks like they also included a wig cap and there's some goodies in this little bag there's some clips there's an edge brush and there's also an elastic band here's just a little booklet to tell you more about the company also hair care tips for you guys to follow so what the cap construction looks like so once again you do get that seaside part it does come with your bleach knots and it does come with your two combs on the side you also get a comb in the back your adjustable straps and they also added in an elastic band so 10 inches in length they do offer 12 inches on the website so while i like the kinky straight version of the wig um that one did come with the kinky edges i feel like the edges were just a little bit too thick on the side nonetheless the wig was really pretty and i feel like it was very affordable it was also super thick you guys know it's about to get very hot outside at least here in texas where i am at but yakky is like the perfect texture all year long but even greater for the summertime because it's so lightweight adding on my elastic band because i will be doing a glueless install with the summertime and everything you will see more glueless installs on my channel because if i don't have to use spray i won't at all especially if the wig is going to look really good and laid down if i don't have to use it i'm not going to go in and pluck out the very front of this hairline it's a little bit more plucked on this side than it is over here but I'm pretty sure once you kind of cover that up it's not going to really show but you can always go in and just pluck out a little bit more I'm gonna leave it alone today well it just depends on how I feel and as you can see this is a left side part so if you are a right side part girl I'm sorry I'm sorry but it is looking good i feel like the density on this looks really nice and i think it's going to be great especially for the hotter months you don't have to worry about it you know doing too much um i do notice some shorter hairs at the top so i am going to end up laying that down this year you don't have to worry about doing too much because you're only focused on this parting space right in this area and i feel like the parting space looks really good it looks very scalp like they did a good job with bleaching those knots So I'm done styling this wig. It didn't take me any time at all. As you guys can see, I used my Nairobi mousse at the front of the hairline. I kind of swooped this over just 
a little bit because that's just my personal preference however you do not have to do that if you don't want to i just think it adds like a little bit of something something for me i did also go into the parting space area with a very light amount of powder i didn't need anything heavy because i already felt like it looked scalp like also didn't go around the front of the hairline with any powder i feel like the mousse definitely helped to lay it down well to my skin hopefully when i take my pictures in the front it looks good too and it doesn't look too light but i think the hd lace is doing a really good job as you can see it did kind of come over but if you wanted to push it back you could and i feel like you know they did a decent job with the pre-pluck hairline you can always kind of go in a little bit more but you don't want to pluck out too much because there's like a little track like right here so you can't pluck it back too far so i had to go in with a good amount of wax at the top because i was noticing some shorter hairs and some flyaways and they we're not trying to lay down and I needed them to lay down. So when I turn to like this way a little bit, you can see a little bit of the sheen. Um, personally, if I was to wash this unit and restyle it, I would just add some mousse at the top just to kind of lay everything down. Bump this hair and I didn't bump it too hard, but on this side, I feel like it was just a little longer pieces. So I went in and trimmed those down. This side is fine. I do notice that it's just, a little bit of thinness right here. I wish it was a bit fuller. Overall, the rest of the wig is full, but I like for mine to be like full right here in the front also. Y'all let me know if that's just me. Kind of swooped it back and I curled it a little bit. So when I push the hair back like that, it'll look like I layered it some. So not too big of a deal. I did notice a little bit of shedding with this unit. And then also with tangles, I'm not getting any at the moment. However, if it's hot outside and you're sweating, I do expect some in the nape area. But I really think that this unit is going to be low maintenance. I took it straight out of the box and styled it. But once you wash it and everything, I'm hoping that it'll get some of that freeziness together. For the price, I'm not mad at it at all. I just showcased a pricier wig from another company that was a little bit expensive so i feel like this is a great alternative only bummer is that this comes as a left side part and i really wish that they would let you pick your options on if you want this to be a left or a right side and on the website like i stated they do offer this in 12 inches now this length is 109 at this time that i am filming this video and then the 12 inch is 128.50 I mean, you cannot beat those prices at all. The texture on this hair is really nice. I like that there's not too many crimps going on. You guys know exactly what I mean. Sometimes with certain yakky texture units from other companies, those crimps make it look super unrealistic. It has a nice flow to it. It states that this is about 180% in density. I feel like it's about 150, 160. No thinness going on in the back to where you're gonna worry about any tracks. As far as sizing goes, I do feel like there's a little bit of room in the back area. I do have my straps adjusted all the way. I have on my silicone grip and I also put some bobby pins on the side. So I don't feel like it's any roominess up here. It's more so towards the back right here where I can pick up a little bit of the cap. So if you have a smaller head, Keep that in mind. Overall, I think that this is something to check out. It's super cute. I'm not mad at it. I prefer this one over the kinky straight one that I showcased. I will rock that one more in the winter time and then this one right now or for every day. If you are interested in this unit, I am gonna make sure to leave the links down below in the description area. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.